good bar. I was going, Mr. Good Bar, and I did that again. You know what? You let me sit down and you podcast about yourself. I'm making bloopers. It's a blooper trip. You're making a blooper trip. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. So. Okay. First off, we gotta look at this. He's not even really ready. Uh, this is for the bloopers reel. Bloopers, my hind in. All Mine's right, right here. You're not even gonna see. <laughs> sit down. All right. Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm. Enough silliness, right? Okay, let's try that again. Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I got my mouth full. Okay, got your mouth full. Welcome to another wonderful week of Lord knows what, huh? This is update, I think, 168? Maybe 169? 168, I think. Alright, in the barn stalls. Do we have Excuse anything me. animal related? Oh my gosh, he's probably too the man if he's doing that. Do we have anything animal related? Hmm? Nope, nothing new. Will you stop it? Be serious. Oh. Alright, I'm serious. Oh, that stinks. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't smell my head stuffed up, so. Oh, Jiminy Christmas, aren't you blessed? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be one of those weeks, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the air has been contaminated. Somebody send in whatever the heck they send in. Okay. I don't know what, but send something. Preferably a bottle of oxygen. <laughs> okay. Alright, so. Are you on this thing? No. No, you've got the bench. Okay, stand up. That thing of his is loaded. You better sit down. Alright, in the barn stalls. Um, pretty much... You started Streak, came in. Yep. You haven't talked about him on the podcast. Nope. So, who is Streak? He's a horse. Camera. He's just kind of... He's a horse that I took in to ride. Okay. Um, what are you getting in return? I'm getting a saddle in return instead of money. We're doing some hay. trading. So... He belongs to an older gentleman, correct? Yep. Okay. So. But his name is Streak. He's kind of a little bit high strung, right? Yep. Okay. Um, everything's still up and off the pasture. This week, it's supposed to be really nice. And the problem is, is that everything is starting to thaw. But by night, it's still freezing back. So... It'll get to where the pond will start to thaw out. It'll get a clear looking thing on it. And then it'll freeze back up. And that's when you get into trouble with livestock. Because to them it looks like it's water. And it's not. So, anyway, we've got that going on. Right? Anything else in the animal department? No. He's writing on his hand with a little happy face. Oh, you goober breath. breath. Dang it. You goober breath. Alright, so. Well, that's what I should do. Um, next, put right on your hand, you're gonna need ink poisoning. Hang on. <laughs> what are you doing? Just hang on. Watch this. Okay, we're hanging. You're wasting their time. Well, talk about something interesting. <laughs> okay. You can't really beat this. So Moving this is much on. More uh, mending fences. What are we... <laughs> See, that's what I did. <laughs> you drew a happy face right side up for them. Yeah. So they can see it. I can see one. And they can see one. Get back and get off the camera. Quit wiggling. Um, no movement ever. Except for your lips so you can talk. Uh, and you might want to breathe a little bit. You know, your lungs. <laughs> <laughs> to 
put that thing in your mouth. Um, many fences. Do we have anything we got to fix? That water hydrant tomorrow. Mm. Dead. Yep. We're actually video recording on Friday, right? Mm -hmm. Because where are you gonna be tomorrow? Work. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be at work. He's gonna be at work. Don't talk with your mouth. Well, my mouth full. <laughs> okay, so he's gonna be at work, but tomorrow I've got to run down to is it Home Depot. Mm -hmm. and I'm gonna try and get two hydrants. Um, last time we went there, they didn't have any. I'm gonna look online and see if I can find it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, you're messing with the camera. Um. So, a hydrant, it's because it froze and then it, I'm sure it's cracked or something. And the ones that are out there, the new ones that we're putting in, have removable parts, like replaceable parts. They're fixable. The ones that are out there, you can't take them apart and fix anything on them. So, if a gasket goes out, you have to replace the whole thing. Um, quit. Nobody wants to see in your mouth. Um... Anyway, quit wiggling the camera. <laughs> you can't do it as long as I can. No, but I'm bigger than you are. And I ain't got to. You want to see about that? They don't. Oh. Yeah, we do stare-offs all the time. Not a big deal. Alright, so mending fences is just the hydrant, right? Anything else? No. Nothing. Where's Star's Jolly Ball? It's, um, hanging out of the fence. Where'd you go and get it from? And what are you going to do with it? I went and got Star's Jolly Ball since I forgot it. Mm-hmm. And? I gotta hang it up. Gotta put it in one of the stalls for her. She'll tear up anything if she doesn't. Star is the Mustang for... Oh, we have new viewers, too. Yep. So, um, if any of our new viewers are watching, welcome. Um, and we hope to see you again. Uh, they're probably thinking. Probably thinking, oh my God, they're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> we're not watch. watching this Looney Tune. Okay, anyway. So, we're going to hang up Star's Ball. Let's move on to in the yarn farm right because that's where we've got the most news what all went on in the yarn farm where did we go what we did went we to do town. quit wiggling the camera we went to town what town mm -hmm. did we go to the camera mom what town we went to a town next to a big town what town beside a little town what town wamego wamego kansas or wamego we don't know how they say it but it is the well, home. Well, Meagle sounds way funner. Wah, Meagle. 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 Wah, Meagle. <laughs> anyway, when so. When you say it with a Mexican accent, it sounds way cooler. Wah, It's Wamego, Kansas. Migo. And it is hometown to the producer, director, or something of the Wizard of Oz. So. Some Wizard of Oz guy. Yep. We stayed at the Simmer Hotel, and we met a lot of people. I actually had my first rude customer there. You did? Yes, there was this little girl. And, I mean, she was just, she acted like she didn't want to be there. She's probably 9 or 10 years old. She's like, and rolling her eyes and stuff. And her mom is trying to soothe her. And I was trying to really be nice. And finally, I just looked at the mom with big eyes like, I don't know. And I went to teach my class. Her mom was trying to get her to teach class. To take the class and I needed to teach the class and I was like, well sweetie you can come in no and I was like oh my gosh so anyway after a few minutes I just turned around and taught my class <laughs> so first rude customer ever and we've been going there years haven't we we have well how old do they think you are 12 no how old did they think you were 16 yep because they couldn't some of our customers that meet us there haven't started meeting us there until the last couple of years and Jennifer has pictures of RJ when he was like really little teaching classes there um, and so we've been there since like 
this was their 10th anniversary and we've been over there more than five years or so so she's like you've been here more than half the time we're consistent aren't we mm -hmm. so anyway but we had a lot of fun right made a lot of friends um i did uh, get that picked up before the dog gets it um i taught tunisian crochet don't you <laughs> five second rule i guess uh, I did rule. just, well, I did just sweep, so it's fine, but uh, not on camera. There's some little kid going, but RJ did it. Uh-huh. And they dropped theirs outside, probably. You dork. All right, rule of thumb. If it has hair, wipe it off. No. If there's a sink We're handy. Going there. No, 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 no. Back to <laughs> Omega. Okay. Rub it so across your pants if there's not a sink handy. And if there's no. not your pants or sink handy, just kind of go... And shove it in. T dirt adds flavor. You gotta eat a peck of dirt before you die. So anyway, uh, you gotta eat a mountain of dirt. No, grandma said a peck. All right. Anyway, so yeah, I could probably die anytime. <laughs> I'm gonna live a long life. Um. Anyway, where was I at? Oh, I taught my Tunisian class, and I've got um a couple of stitches. To put on my list I'm gonna make some more and then um, I've got I taught at the Wait, top of the I hour like this, I uh, taught my class at the top of every hour starting with whatever stitch everyone to learn so if there was only one person in the class that hour and they hadn't learned anything they learned how to cast on and the simple stitch um, and then every hour after that you know nobody got to learn the twisted stitch or yeah, the honeycomb yeah, stitch or thank you so um but anyway i'm going to add those to the web page we have all of the other playlists already in place for the tunisian crochet uh, stitch so if you wow, are viewing this busy. because of the um festival and you want to see those stitches there's a playlist you on can YouTube. skip over this video and go to the ones yeah you just go to the want. ones you actually want or you can find them on the web page um, they're all just kind of blocked in there. So, um, and then of course my fiber notebook, <gasps> right? No, that one didn't go over very good. You didn't have as many people. I, this year I didn't have as many people as I had last year. I came home with like, four notebooks. It's not like four so. people this year. Mm -mm. Or six, six, seven. Six. I don't know. Normally you have a bunch. Mm -hmm. This year you But do. I did it two years in a row. Um, and next year, I'm not teaching it, so they, they knew. Um, it's just one of the things they knew. So, um, and next year, I'm not teaching Tunisian either. I'm teaching Tunisian in the round. Uh, really, you okay, just lied. You so, said you're not teaching Tunisian next year, but you're teaching Tunisian in the round. Two different things. Tunisian crochet. But they both have the same word Tunisian in them. So technically you are teaching Tunisian. No, just no, a different no, no. style. Of All right, Tunisian. moving on. So then we came home and we got some programs in place, right? One of which was, come on. One of which was we'll have seasonal passes this year. I'm going to have to go pee. Pause. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is why we don't podcast at night because I have had way too much coffee. So, anyway, okay, I'm back. So, after we got through at the um, Fiber Festival, we came home and we did the season passes. You can now find them and purchase them um, online, correct? And do you remember the breakdown of it? Let me get to it so we can... No. Do it. <gasps> it went away. No, it didn't. It did too. It I can't see now. myself. Okay, so. I can't um, see myself anymore, guys. You're a goofball. It's down here in the corner. Do you see? You're seeing Whoa, yourself. Whoa, I can see myself now. Yeah, I'm now really I jumping. Going on. I know. Mm. Hang on. It's all mommy's fault. She did it. Yeah, it's Where is our... Oh, 
And you can't even find this stuff on her. Okay, so I can't find it, but we have a single um, season pass. All season passes start from March 15th, which is two weeks before we open. So you get two weeks of lambing season to come and kind of check us out. How do we expect people to find things on our website when we can't find things on our website? I know where it's at. It's just I was trying to hurry and I have to click several different things and you uh, said I couldn't find it, so I just went with it. Oh, cool. Um. Anyway. <laughs> so, there's a single, you like a never... family, and then a large family, right? Mm -hmm. The single includes a pass for a friend. You can bring someone with you every time because it's not very fun to come to the farm by yourself all the time, right? Um, it's not. <gasps> I get up and the family ones. Day. Fun to quit hitting the camera. Uh, the family ones have discounts on guests that you bring, correct? Yes or no? Come on. Yeah. Okay. So, there are family passes available and they go till October 1st and you get two weeks before we actually open. So, it's a really, really good deal, folks. It, it is. Um, figured on the numbers and if you come, you know, even once a month, it is a savings. Great deal. So, and then we figured out one other program. Quit. Do not break that china. That's grandma's porcelain. I, they will I see the, me go. See, let's look right there. I got the shell. No, that is the saucer to my thing. <laughs> Stop. I had the shell from my no, head. No, yes, you I don't. Did. This, the saucer sticks out further than the shelf. It does not. You better look. Oh, I missed one more. <laughs> yeah, don't. Sorry, a little family fuss in there. Um. Okay, so the other thing that we figured out is a kids fiber camp, or it's not even going to be kids, it's going to be a fiber camp, and the first... It's geared towards kids. It, it, it's probably going to gear towards kids, but if you like fiber and you want to learn how to wash it and process it and the things you can do with it and how to spin, you can come. It's three months, the second Saturday off, uh, second Saturday of the month, you're tearing up my pen, dork. I'm not tearing up. I am making it better. <laughs> You're taking it apart. Um, See, so now, listen to me. I have a view of you. <laughs> you do not have a view of my <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so. But your pen is minus a clip. Yes, I know. Are you going to talk about fiber camp or not? I thought you were. Then stop being goofy. Yeah, now you dropped it. So, um, it's going to be the second Saturday of every month, and it'll be from, what do we say, 9.30 to 11.30. The first week, you get a sample of wool, a one-ounce sample, and you're going to wash it and take it all the way through the process. But there will be other things, because washing the wool and taking a tour and all that stuff, um, we want them to have something tangible to take home every week. So, we will be, um, quit. What will we be doing? Come on. Uh making things. The first week we will make what? I don't remember. We'll be weaving. The next um, week... Lucid braiding. Lucid braiding. Oh, I, I got that one right. And on that week they also will learn to pick and uh, prepare their fiber for spinning. And then the last week we're going to make our actual drop spindles out of CDs and dowel rods and we will teach them to spin and they can take it with them. So it, we're going to call it Fiber Camp. There is a cost involved in that because I've got materials in it. But I think, what did we say? Uh, was it $15 for the entire thing? Yep. If you took, if you decided to come to all three of the little workshops, it's, you know, two hours a piece. It's going to be $15 for all three. If not, it's $7 every time you come, right? Mm -hmm. So it is what it is. And there is also, what did we say, a $50 family cap? Mm -hmm. So if your family is bigger than $50 and the dollar amount and you decide that you want all three of your you kids, kids, if you've got four kids and you want all four of them to do it, it's $15 a kid. That comes up to 60 but we have a $50 cap, so your whole family can do it for 50 bucks, Right? Mm -hmm. So, anything else in the yarn farm? Nope. 
Yes, what is coming up? You've been doing a poll on your page, and um, what are we getting ready for? Let's, come on. Movie titles won. You did not even look. Well, I want them to win, so they won. Okay, won what? You didn't even tell them what you were talking the naming about. Convention. We have new people viewing, and you just are being goopy. Well, yes, he's like this every week. Out. Okay, they will figure it out, Sometimes or they'll quit watching. Irritating. Mm -hmm. One of the two. Yeah, that's not a good thing. Well, probably. <laughs> okay, not, so. I'm an acquired taste, folks. That's not even a good And by one. me, it's required. But anyway. It's not even a good taste either. Um, okay, so we're getting ready for lambing season. Our first lambs, if the very first day they came in and made contact with the male, they could be due the 20th, right? Mm -hmm. Which is Sunday. Sunday. We could have the first babies on the ground Sunday. The likelihood of that? Not. Not. Normally not they. Existent. Normally the ram skips the first cycle and gets them on the second cycle. It's just the way it is because the sheep don't come into heat until they're exposed to lambs. So, just saying. Um. So, we've got the little contest going on tonight. It will close, and we will know what we'll be naming the babies. Right? Movies. He wants movie names. And I think last time I looked, it was like gemstones. No, that's not going to win. What, what are we going to name a, a little boy? <laughs> boy Gem. gemstones. You're breaking it. I am breaking it. Okay. It's so Yet. fixable. Okay, so that's going on. So lambing season, if you're going to skip right on over and get the voting done, this will probably post Saturday morning, so it probably will have already closed Friday night. We just don't know what it will be. Um, It'll be movie names, folks. It's going to be movie names. We have the other... The other thing that I have to do still is I've got to figure out the days Ooh, to do really the grow tower cool. to plant the pizza garden, right? Mm -hmm. Um, last year when we got the grow tower, we had a day for the kids to come out and we, they all planted seeds and they planted the whole grow tower. It, did it do great? Mm -hmm. No. But we had fun trying. So we're going to try it again this year. Right? I fixed it. We're good. Right? Right. Good. So Thanks. I still don't have a date. Remember to check our calendar for that kind of stuff. Okay, moving on. Come on. I took it apart and I fixed it. Next. Uh, in the... Uh, fields. It's cold outside. There's nothing going on in the garden. In the it's fields cold. is normally about the gardening and stuff and it's or cold. hay in season. It's and cold. That's all we can It's say. cold. So, <laughs> in the farmhouse. <laughs> what's going on in the farmhouse? He's been it's sick. It's warm. So he's wound up now because he's it's been sick. Warm. It's warm. nice and in warm. In the farmhouse. Um, this is also where we talk about what I've been working on, right? Um, we should drink some coffee more. Uh, no. So, everybody, I'm pretty sure, unless you're a new viewer, you'll have to go back and check last um, podcast. But, Grandma's um, thing, that goes in there. Grandma's poncho that she started and my aunt finished and RJ grew the wool and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it's our generational piece. Um, there was this much leftover yarn. So I wanted to do something to add with it that wouldn't waste the yarn. So, and something that reflected me. Um, because it looks knit, it will match, but this is not knit, it is Tunisian. So it's going to be one of those little head warmer thingies. Anyway, it probably doesn't look very good over my hat. But anyway. Did these? I just did. I think I started ten across, and this is the knit stitch. It's the basic knit stitch because I wanted it to look knit so that it matches the poncho. Um, it's also super thick, so it'll keep my ears warm. I don't know how many rows I did. I can't remember how many rows I did. I'll have to count and write it down uh, before I started my increases, and then I just increased in the middle, right up there. You can see it. Do do do. And then once I hit 20 stitches, I am just going to make it 20 stitches wide. And I'm just measuring as I go. Yep, this fits my head and, you know, that kind of stuff. Real and scientific then, wide. Mm -hmm. And then when I get where half of it will fit and come up to here, 
then I will start the other half and when I get down I will decrease down to 10 and just finish it off so it's simple and we'll still have enough that if something gets a hole in it we can repair so yo 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 correct you know what's up um other than that i hadn't been working on anything i've got a pair of baby booties that are kind of kicking my butt i'm not liking the way that they work up i've got to find another pattern the baby's or something. kicking her butt not Just the pow, baby pow, pow. the baby booties oh the babies you kicking her baby butt. booties and i just don't uh-huh that's a nice way to say the baby just kicked her butt. i don't know because i don't read patterns it's kind of looking too fat at the top of the shoe and it looks like those Build-A-Bear little shoes, <laughs> like really fat. <laughs> so I'm not liking it. I'll redo it. I'm gonna Unless get on baby it. has a big fat foot. Most babies don't have big fat feet. Oh. Not like this. This one doesn't even look like it's for a long foot. It looks like it's for a big fat round foot. Just saying. So, um, unless it's a dog, it will, will not look good on them. So, all right. On the porch, what's coming up? Um, the. Oh, on the porch is where we porch. talk about what's going out and what's on sale. Uh, we posted all Everything the orphan that is on bags. Sale from is. Okay, but I don't have it all up there yet. I have two different kinds of the bags. I don't have the third project bags up there yet. I don't have the yarn up there yet either. Soaps are up there. The soaps, the lotion bars. You need some bars. soaps to scrub up. Just. The mm -hmm. lip balms, those things are all up there, but get not your bar of soap and you just use it here and mm -hmm. here and here. Anyway, so you didn't even drink we any are coffee. Done. You just picked it up and moved it. I know. Do we have anything else going on? Really? This is why we don't do it on Friday night. We're just too silly, too goofy. I have a headache. RJ's had a headache and been sick for days, and now he's feeling better. But I think he's giving me a headache. Right. Anything else? I haven't been home enough to give you a headache. That's true. He has been working. Some. As hard as I have to. And not an ounce more. Anyway. Um, Alright. Anything else? Yeah. The camera really shows this red dot up. I mean, it just shows right there. You gotta edit it out. Nope. That's you. Tried and true. We will see you next time. Bye. Yo, 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 see ya later.